Hello friends! I happened upon something today in my local Target that got me so excited and I had to get it and share it with you. This is the Handmade Modern Watercolor Set and it comes in a wooden box and that's what has me so excited. I feel like this is probably going to be something that can become an heirloom. I can pass it down to my daughter and really make it a great set. So I'm going to unbox for you. It's not really a box. One thing I like about the Handmade Modern stuff is that they do very minimal packaging, which is really nice. And it all just comes apart. So they've got laser etched lettering on the lid. The clasp is very sturdy. The hinges look solid. This isn't like a cheap balsa box from Hobby Lobby or whatever with the screws falling out of it. It looks pretty well put together. There's a couple little dings, little holes in the wood over here, but I'm not too worried about it. And this actually looks like it might be nice pine or maple. This over here I think is basswood. And inside there are three rows for watercolor paints. So here's the one downside is that as of right now this box is not portable. They have padded it with cardboard and with a little piece of plastic. And two of these rows are full and the third one is for paint brushes at the moment. So I have big plans for this box. I'm going to put mixing areas up here. I'm either going to ask my mom to make me something or I'm going to rig something up out of enameled metal in the lid. And then I'm going to come up with a divider, something I can close over this to protect it while traveling so it will become truly portable. And I may go to three rows of paints and just take down the paint brushes. It comes with two paint brushes, which I have tried the Handmade Modern paint brushes before and they're really good starter brushes. They're fairly soft synthetics with a lot of spring to them. This one looks like it's a little bit crooked in the ferrule. But honestly, that's not too big of a deal. I don't mind. And the sleeve just fell off this little one. So it's great that it came with the brushes. I probably won't use them very much. And honestly, the same goes for these paints. They are in half pans, which is awesome. I suspect that these are going to be on par with Master's Touch or with the PBO watercolors, things like that. They're very snug in there. There's 24 that come with it and I'm going to swatch them out for you. And then I'm probably never going to use the paints themselves again because what got me excited was this box and all of the things that I can do with it to make it my plein air painting box and make it a, an heirloom that I can pass down. So, really excited about the box itself. Not so much about the paints, but I will swatch them for you so you can get a sense of how they behave. Unsurprisingly, in this set of watercolors that I bought at a grocery store, there is absolutely no pigment information or even names for any of these colors, so it's really a guessing game. And there are some predictable colors and a few surprises as well. These two cadmium-ish yellows are pretty much interchangeable, and then we have sort of a cadmium orange, a light Naples yellow, and then we get into the reds and pinks. And this pink on the second row is the closest they really get to an opera pink. Now, I know that Handmade Modern is probably completely unconcerned with the chromatic arrangement of the paints in their set that they're selling for $20 at Target, but it always bothers me so much when a paint set is not actually arranged in Roy G. Bibb order. Or in my case, I guess it would be your Vibka because I start with yellow and then move through the spectrum kind of backwards from Roy G. Biff. Anyway, obviously it's super easy to rearrange these all yourself and put them in whatever order you like. Now, as you can see and as you may have predicted, these are pretty opaque pretty granulating and pretty chalky paints. I did run my hand over them when they dried and I did not get any pigment up off the page so there's plenty of binder and also a lot of filler and a lot of white in most of these pigments. That being said, if you're a new watercolorist and you want a really cool box as well as a decent set of paints, this is a decent set of paints. There are some surprises in here. There's that Naples yellow that is not easily found in sets at this price level. 
there's that interesting khaki green in the second row on the right side and best of all there's this awesome box that ideally will last you for years and years Overall, my first impression of this set is extremely positive and I'm looking forward to modifying this box and making it a treasured companion in my art supply arsenal. To keep up with what I do with it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.